The journey of a sample starts when a doctor, a nurse, or a phlebotomist, a specialist blood collector, collects a sample from the patient. If the sample is blood, it is collected from a vein. If the sample is cerebrospinal fluid, it's collected from the fluid around the spine via a procedure called lumbar puncture or spinal tap. This takes around 15 minutes and can be slightly uncomfortable, but very rarely causes pain as a local anaesthetic is used before the fluid is obtained. Once the right amount of sample is collected, it is labelled and transported in special containers to the laboratory. At the laboratory, the sample is logged in the system and prepared by the lab assistant. The sample is then analysed by machines and experts. Multiple tests are conducted to look for signs of infection, inflammation and various pathogens or autoantibodies that shouldn't be there. Recently, there have been huge advances in how samples are analysed and new techniques and equipment can generate detailed results very quickly, especially to look for infectious bugs which might have entered the cerebrospinal fluid. The results are put on the hospital computers and can be accessed by the doctors. They then also consider the symptoms and the patient's condition in the context of the results of the other tests. The aim is to decide if the results could and should affect the patient's care. The journey of that sample can end here, but it may be kept at the lab for a while in case further tests are needed later. In fortunate cases, these results can provide real clues to the cause of the illness. In other cases, the search for the cause may continue.